Welcome, dear children and parents, to our preparation for the sacrament of First Holy Communion. The first thing, we are delighted that we are going to be having First Communion for the boys and girls in our communion class. And of course, our First Communion will be on July the 18th. Before we get down to business, let me say to you that this instruction will be on our parish website, www.stteresachurchbronx.org, and will remain there until Holy Communion Day. And the reason for that is hopefully you can look at this several times so that you will be ready for First Holy Communion. Let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you have given us every good gift, and your most important gift is the gift of yourself in Holy Communion. We ask your blessing upon the boys and girls of our parish who will receive First Holy Communion. May they be strengthened by this Holy Sacrament, and may they always remember that you come to them as the bread of life. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to speak first of all to the truth. Pope Francis says that he received First Holy Communion more than 75 years ago. And he says it was the happiest day of his life. Well, dear boys and girls, your First Holy Communion Day is going to be the happiest day for you. And we want to be ready for that happy day. We want you to prepare to receive Jesus. Now, of course, <clears throat> your parents and grandparents are preparing. They're preparing the things you're going to wear, the people who will be here in church for you, and that is wonderful. But the kind of preparing that we want you to do is the preparing inside. We want you to pray that you will be ready to receive Jesus in Holy Communion. I want you to think of two things, two questions. Who are you receiving in Holy Communion? And why are you receiving Holy Communion? And of course, the answer to the first question, who are you receiving? You are receiving Jesus himself. During the Mass, what looks like bread becomes the body of Jesus. Jesus changes it from bread to become his body. What looks like wine is blessed, and Jesus changes it into the blood of life. That is what we want to remember. Who are we receiving? We are receiving Jesus himself. And that is hard to understand because the bread looks like bread, the wine looks like wine, but it is not. It is the body and blood of Jesus. But the second question, why are we receiving Holy Communion? In one way is an easy question to answer. We're receiving Holy Communion because Jesus wants to give himself to us. He wants you to have him inside of you, not only on your first Holy Communion day, but every time you come to Mass, every Sunday for the rest of your life. I remember a lady coming to me once, and she told me she was very proud of something. And I asked her what it was. And she told me she was proud that every Sunday of her life, she received Jesus in Holy Communion. We want you boys and girls to be proud of that as well, to 
receive communion every Sunday and to grow in your love for Jesus Christ. I want to go over some practical things with you boys and girls. Some of you will be receiving First Holy Communion at 10 o'clock Mass on the morning of July the 18th. And some of you will be receiving Holy Communion in the afternoon at 1 o'clock Mass on the same day. Your parents know the time that you are going to have your First Communion Mass. If you're here for the morning Mass, we want you to be here a half hour ahead of time at 9.30, coming to the school gymnasium. If you're here for the one o'clock Mass in the afternoon, please be here at least at 12.30 and likewise to come to the school so that everyone will be ready. Remember, <clears throat> we have the things that your parents have gotten for you for Holy Communion. Mrs. McCarrick will go over those things after I finish speaking. You will process into the church and you will be seated in the seats in the front. You know that now you're going to have to wear a mask and we have a special mask that we have for you just for First Holy Communion. Your parents and family will be sitting in other parts of the church and they will be sitting as a family together. We will begin the Mass. During the Mass, of course, listen and respond. When <clears throat> the priest says the prayers of the Mass, remember you answer nice and loud. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. And when Father says, the body of Christ later on, you're going to proudly say, Amen. At Holy Communion time, Mrs. Cirabella will be here in the middle, right before the altar. And she will direct you up to receive Holy Communion. When you come to her, you're going to make a little bow. That is the way we show that we are ready for Holy Communion. And then when you come actually to receive Communion, I want to remind you how you're going to do that. Father is going to hold the body of Jesus in front of you. And he's going to say the body of Christ. And as I just mentioned, you're going to say amen. <clears throat> you're going to put your hands like a cross. Let me show you. And put their hands right by your chest, put them out, so that you can receive the body of Jesus in your hand. If you are right-handed, put your right hand underneath. If you're left-handed, put your left hand underneath. As I said, Father is going to say the body of Christ, and then he's going to put the sacred host in your top hand. You say amen, and right away, you pick up the sacred host with the hand that is underneath and you put it in your mouth and you chew and swallow and then you cross your hands again and you go back to your place let's do that again when father says the body of Christ you say amen he's going to place it in your top hand you take your bottom hand pick up Put in your mouth, chew and swallow, and fold your hands and go back. Notice I said chew and swallow. Our Lord said take and eat. You're supposed to chew. That's what he wants you to do. 
you will see as soon as you receive Holy Communion that it does take life bread. It is thin bread. We call it unleavened bread, like matzah. But once you start eating it, you will see that it tastes like bread as well. After you have received Holy Communion, then you go back to your place and you can kneel down or sit down and close your eyes and thank Jesus for the gift of Holy Communion. And then we go on with the Mass, and for the rest of the Mass, you join in the prayers again, and at the end of the Mass, you will be processing out, thanking God for the gift of Holy Communion. I want to mention some things for your parents. And first of all, parents, this is a most significant day for you. I said before, it was the happiest day for your children. I think it's the happiest day for you too. Maybe the happiest day since the day you had your child baptized. And when you had your child baptized, in a sense, that was their first preparation for Holy Communion. It all began then, when you helped your child to know and love and serve God. And all of the things that the children have learned either in St. Teresa's school or CCD class, all of those things, shall we say, built on what you promised to do on the day of baptism, namely to help your child grow in faith. Again, some things for the parents. You will be sitting in church in a row that is marked with your child's name. We're going to just do that at random, and up to six people can sit in the row. Please sit only in the row that is marked with your child's name. Of course, masks must be worn in church. Please make sure that you bring your mass. The children will be given their special mass. Mrs. McCarrick later on will talk about the photographer, but let me make it clear, we do not allow anyone out of their seats during the first communion mass to preserve the dignity of the mass and to keep the children calm. Please stay in your place we will have a professional photographer to take pictures. Please remain in your place throughout the mass. Of course, turn off all cell phones and maintain a prayerful attitude in church. This is not the place to carry on a loud conversation. We are here to pray. You are here to pray for your child. After the mass, you are welcome to take pictures here in the sanctuary or in the front of the church if you wish to do that. We look forward to a beautiful First Holy Communion Day. I want to make sure that you children remember what is going to happen. On that day, Father is going to take the bread. This is the priest's host, and this is your host. He is going to bless it, and Jesus is going to change it into his body. And Father is going to take the wine and place it in the chalice, and he's going to bless it and say the words, this is the chalice of my blood. When Jesus does that, he is giving you the greatest gift of all. He is giving you himself. We know you will have a beautiful First Holy Communion Day. Now I'm going to ask Mrs. McCarrick to explain a few more things. Thank you, Father. Boys and girls and moms and dads, we are looking forward to First Communion Day on July 18th with great anticipation. 
It's been a long time since we've seen you, and we're looking forward to seeing you all dressed up on that day. Father mentioned already about the photographer who will take a picture of the child receiving Holy Communion in church. The photographer will also be here to take First Communion portraits for those who would like to take advantage of that. So for the earlier communion, the photographer will be in the school gym, which is air conditioned, at 8.30 a.m. to take First Communion portraits. So please come early if you would like to have your child's picture taken. For our afternoon First Communion, the photographer will be in the gym at 11.30 to take portraits before we assemble for Mass. The boys and girls will be receiving a First Communion mask. They'll all be wearing the same style mask. So when you arrive, we will be putting that mask on them or we'll ask you to put the mask on them. Uh, Regarding what else they should be wearing, the boys are to wear navy blue or white suits with a First Communion tie, a white First Communion tie, a white arm bow that they will wear on their right arm, and we also have a First Communion uh, prayer book with rosary beads, a First Communion pin, a scapular, um, which you may purchase if you wish. I'll get back to that in a moment. The boys will be wearing their suits with a white dress shirt, their tie, their white arm bow, and dress shoes. The girls will be wearing white dresses with a white veil, white tights or socks, and white shoes. If you wish to purchase any of the items that we have, you may come to the rectory between nine o'clock and three o'clock on the weekdays, and you can purchase the arm bows for the boys for $4 each. The white First Communion ties are $7 each and the prayer books with all of the accompanying things are $10 each. We have white prayer books for the girls and black prayer books for the boys. The children may wear the pin on their lapel for the boys or on the First Communion dress for the girls. Um, no other items, and I'm gonna read all of these because there are many. Um, prayer books, rosaries, flowers, gloves, purses, should all be held by the family during the Mass. All we really need is your handsome son and your beautiful daughter who is going to be receiving Jesus in the Eucharist for the first time. Once this video is posted out on the website, as you're watching it, you may have questions and you can email them to the St. Teresa Parish website or call Father or Mrs. Finelli or send it to the St. Teresa Religious Education email and we'll get back to you right away. And that is all that I need to say. I'm sure that Father has some closing reminders for us. And again, we're so looking forward to seeing you on July 18th. Thank you, Mr. McCarrick. I want to mention one more practical thing. At the end of the, each Mass, to maintain safety for everyone, what we are going to do is have the children on the side, and we will call them out by name. And then if one parent or family member comes over to pick the child up, that will make it as simple as possible. So at the end of the Mass, they are not going to be leaving the church. They're going to come to the side. We will call out each child by name. Then a parent comes up, picks the child up, and then, if you wish, you can have pictures either in the church or outside. 
Now I have one more thing to say to the boys and girls. You have homework. Yes, you have homework to do. And this is your homework. Every day between now and First Holy Communion Day, I want you to pray hard. Pray that you will be ready to receive Jesus in Holy Communion. Pray to thank Jesus for coming to you in Holy Communion and promise him that you will receive him every Sunday in Holy Communion. Remember, after your first communion day, you will not have to do this anymore, crossing your hands when other people come to receive communion. Instead, you will come to receive Jesus and welcome him to your heart. We pray that the Lord will bless you, your parents, your family. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all.